Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do the big wardrobe switchover. I've been wanting to do this for the last few days. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for the last few days but honestly this is such a big job <laughs> and just the thought of doing it is, is daunting okay. <laughs> It takes ages to do, but in the last couple of weeks I've been mainly creating spring content so all of my winter stuff is just sitting in my wardrobe. Of course I will keep some winter jumpers and coats, um, but the majority of my winter stuff is, I don't really need it anymore, um, and the weather is very slowly um, becoming brighter and slightly warmer <laughs> so i thought i would tackle it today um it's about nine o'clock i'm gonna start now and hopefully i will be done by the early afternoon late afternoon <laughs> yeah so i'm completely makeup free today but i'm gonna tell you guys perfume of the day i'm gonna go for Vallejo because it's a very spring it's a very it's a scent that reminds me of spring and another thing which i need to i need to find a way to display my perfumes in a nice way so that i can actually get some good use out of them um i have a lot more spring i have a lot of spring summer perfumes that i know i want to wear um over the next six months but i need to find a way to put to display them in a nice way i don't know how i'm going to do that but anyway this is what i'm using today Mm. I'm going to start off by showing you all my wardrobe, the current situation of my wardrobe and then after that um, I'm going to start pulling things out and if you've watched these videos before then you know the gist of everything, you know how it all works. Okay so this is my wardrobe situation right now, it's an absolute mess, it looks really messy, very disorganised, I have a lot of stuff, I understand that, I will always have a lot of stuff but um yeah it's just not looking great right now i've got all of my knits my trousers i've got all my trousers my knits long knits and dresses shoes boots at the bottom to be fair i'm still wearing a lot of my boots and i probably will continue to do so um so i'm going to keep quite a few of them out or i'm going to keep them readily accessible um, however, I don't need all of these knits. Um, I want to bring more like trench coats and lighter jackets and things like that into this main wardrobe. When I come into the second bedroom, this is the um, wardrobe situation here. So these are all the jackets which I would like to bring into the main wardrobe. This is my second wardrobe. Yeah, so all of the colourful ones I would like to bring into the main bedroom and I'm probably just going to keep I'm going to keep three coats out and um, probably my lighter coats here maybe like a grey and a camel coat just in case I'm also going to keep my Axel Arigato coat out I know it's scrunched in there but um, yeah just because I go on a lot of walks and that coat is warm and I want to wear it also up here I would like to bring down these uh, jackets and all that kind of thing because I think I will wear quite a lot of them um, especially like this puffer jacket here from HM I got this one last year and I will definitely be wearing that during spring um, so yeah that is the situation here I also keep a lot of my clothes underneath this bed so this is our um spare bedroom uh yeah i keep a lot of clothes under there and i want to go through them i have a lot of shoes under here which i really really need to go through because realistically like when it comes to spring summer i mainly wear like certainly when it's summer i will mainly be wearing my orange sandals or some sort of like leather sliders or sliders or whatever a lot of my sandals like pretty sandals i actually don't wear Let's crack on with this. I, I really don't want to do this. I've literally been sat down at my desk replying to emails, um, even though <laughs> it's not my favourite job. But I would rather do that than tackle this big job because it's quite it's tiring. I'm tired already. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Because if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time. That's all right. I'm starting to get used to it. Think I'll survive. I met you in the summer. When you left, it was cold. Said we loved one another. Guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer. Our love was out of control. I've been going crazy without you. So long. 
Okay, so I have completely emptied my wardrobe and I like to do this because it means that I can clean the wardrobe, remove all the dust, vacuum the bottom, just clean everything so that um, I'm not putting my spring clothes into a dirty wardrobe. So yeah, I have completely gutted this wardrobe and I will be doing the same with the other wardrobe, but that's still full of stuff. I have all of my handbags. I'm just watching some true crime in the background just because, um, yeah, I love her content. Emma Kenny, don't know if anybody else watches her, but yeah. Um, it's quite dark stuff, so it's sad stories, but it's just something that I can have in the background for like an hour and a half. And yeah, anyway, these are all of my handbags. I've got some more around here. So yeah, I've got all of my handbags out. I've got all of my, I've got all of my winter shoes at the bottom. The next thing that I want to do is what would I like to do? I need to sort this spare bedroom out, gut that wardrobe, like clean it out, take everything out, and um, start filling this wardrobe up with some spring goodies. So yeah, let's do that. Also, I have two. Uh, of these IKEA bags full of knitwear which I'm not going to wear this year so these can all go into storage and then these are the knits which I am going to be wearing and I am going to keep out I think I'm going to go through these even more just to I mean I've tried to be as strict as possible but I really do struggle <laughs> Uh, so yeah, these are all of the knits that um, I'm going to end up putting in here, but I need to completely like clean this wardrobe out, take everything out, do the same thing which I did in the other wardrobe, like completely gut it, and yeah. I've now cleaned this wardrobe. Um, I've not taken out any of my beauty stuff just because there's so much stuff there and just I'm just going to leave it there for now. But yeah, this wardrobe is pretty much clean. Now I'm going to fill this wardrobe up with uh, all the knits that I think I might get some use out of um, in spring just because it is still kind of cold in spring. So yeah, I'm going to go through do all that. Without you, and I couldn't really make you stay. So, what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself now and then. I'll try to laugh, but I'll cry a bit as well. I was never any good at being away from you. I met you in the summer when you left, it was cold. Said we loved one another. I've definitely hit that stage in the switchover. Well, I'm just tired and I don't want to do this anymore. It's uh, half three, so I've been doing it for quite a few hours. And I'm just tired. But the last job that I'm going to do is fill up this wardrobe. I've pretty much started. I've pretty much sorted the wardrobe next door out. Um, so I just need to fill this wardrobe up and also um, put all my handbags back up as well. Guess that we were wrong. I met you in the summer. Our love was out of control. I've been going crazy without you. I'm so alone. I'm a child. I don't know what the lighting is saying. This vlog was just going to be like a wardrobe switchover vlog. But I actually think that I'm going to do. I'm going to vlog today. So basically, today I've got a hospital appointment um, to do with my teeth. And then after that, I'm going to go into Manchester um, just to have a little day out and about <laughs> i've said this a million times i work from home girl i can spend about five days at home seeing nobody talking to nobody but jack so sometimes i need to have little days out where um have a look around just a change of scenery i've got my bag with me i'm taking my move to know bag and then inside i have my laptop and stuff like that so i can do quite a lot of editing because uh, i'm going to be on trains quite a bit today because i need to get training to leeds and then a train once i'm done at the hospital um to manchester and all of that so i've got plenty of time to do loads of editing and apply to whoever i need to apply to i have a couple of deadlines today as well and i might vlog it i'm not sure how much i'm going to vlog obviously i'm not going to vlog myself at the hospital but depending on how much i have going on i might vlog manchester so whilst i'm in manchester um yeah yeah <laughs> um 
I'll try to show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing my under the stories blazer. This is all my jewelry. I'm wearing all my Monica Veneta jewelry. I've got, uh, I have my nails a little bit dry. I have uh, my hands are always dry. Like I moisturized before I left here, and they are still really dry. I've got my little stack going on. This is an Hermes bracelet, um, leather bracelet, and these two are Monica Veneta as well. Monica Veneta. Uh, I think these earrings here are Majuri. Anyway, so yeah, that is what I'm wearing. I've got like a knitted jumpsuit on. Anyway, I'm going to go because my train should be here in 12 minutes. No, 14 minutes. So it, gets, it gives me time to walk around um, to the platform. I will speak to you guys very, very soon. Okay, so I'm just walking um, back into town after my hospital appointment. So I turned up to my hospital appointment because I got a call last week and they were like, um, we need you to come in for uh, another appointment and I was like yes um, there's a few things going on in the background and they need to just double check a few things before I got my tooth taken out I've got a dodgy wisdom tooth <laughs> they can only use certain medication to take it out so I assumed that the appointment was going to be to do with that anyway I turned up to my appointment and <laughs> They were like, yes, we're taking the tooth out today. And I was like, what? I literally got the shock of my life. I was like, are you? <laughs> I mean, I have plans after today. I have a deadline today. And <laughs> I know that I'm going to feel pretty rubbish after um, getting it taken out because of the swelling and the stuff that they have to give you to not to feel it. Um, and I was like, <laughs> I said to the woman, I was like, I wouldn't have come so dressed up today. Like, I've got um, uh, like a, an appointment after here as well. I can run half two. I wouldn't have come so dressed up if I knew that I was going to get my wisdom tooth taken out today. Thankfully, I have managed to get it rearranged um, for in two weeks' time. So that's really good. Sorry for my out of breath. Um, so I've managed to get it rearranged. Um, but it's just crazy because I got a call a week ago saying that this saying that I had an appointment but they never actually told me what the appointment was and when I asked them what the appointment was for um they were like oh we don't know I can't tell you so yeah that's what's gone on today Be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like a so i it's the following day i didn't vlog much <laughs> i didn't vlog much at all whilst i was in manchester so basically i had a look around a few of the shops selfridges uh just have a look around at things just to look around shops and brands that we don't get where i live so and also, like I said, uh, I just like to get out and about. Like, I can very easily spend four, five days not going out, not seeing anybody, not talking to anybody. Just, it, I'll be honest, it gets a little bit lonely, okay? It gets lonely, and this is coming from somebody who absolutely loves her own company. I really do. Uh, hence why I go on these days out on my own. <laughs> but yeah, I love my own company. I have no issue with that, but I just know after four days, you're like, girl, <laughs> you need to speak to some other people other than your partner. Anyway, anyway, so, uh, so yeah, I had a little day out in Manchester. I'll talk you guys, I'll talk you guys through that and some of the things that I tried on because I took pictures, but I was a little bit too nervous to actually video myself because it just felt a bit weird. I just, I wasn't in that space. So once I got into Manchester, I went straight to Selfridges and I'm mainly going to talk you through some of the stuff that I I had a look at there. So first place which I went, I'm gonna add some pictures um, cause it kind of helps me go through some of the things which I talked about in my luxury wish list video. So a few, maybe like a month or so ago, I made a luxury wish list video of items which I wanted and in an ideal world, I would buy them all, but you know, I'd be very lucky to get one or two pieces. Now you all know that I got the court guy dress because guys, <laughs> I was really unsure about that dress, but when I got your response, pretty much 
nine times of people write it there's always people who are like eh, don't get it whatever it's a lot of money but it's a special dress it's not just your everyday zara dress you can't get this kind of craftsmanship quality detail attention to detail at zara okay i tried on some other things on my wish list and also some items which aren't on my wish list so first thing that i tried on the so i tried on the lady dior bag um, so the white Lady Dior bag, I tried on the mini version with the chain and also the small version with the leather strap. Now I asked them whether they did the small with the chain, they don't, however I can buy one for an additional £250 and they were just throwing out the £250 like it was nothing. Girl, no, I, if I was to buy this bag, I'm getting the chain off eBay for £10, okay? Um, I tried on the small. The small is probably the, mo the most practical size that I could use um, just as an everyday bag. It would fit more than enough laptop. Um, if you were a little beauty at laptop, what am I talking about? No, no, no. None of these bags fit laptops. Um, it would fit my phone, um, like a vlogging camera, which to be honest, I always vlog on my phone, so I don't need like a compact camera. Uh, it would fit like just all of my essentials, beauty products, hand cream, hand sanitizer, paracetamol if I get a headache, um, just all like, you know, tissues. The small size would be like the more sensible purchase. The mini size though is super cute. That bag would only fit like my phone, a card holder, a lip gloss, and that would be it. Now, how I would intend to use this bag is as like a little pretty handheld bag. Like, although the bigger size is more practical, I feel like the mini is like, is what's calling my heart. Like the little chain, it's so pretty, it's so, so pretty. To be honest, there's not much of a difference between the two. They were very, very close in price. Um, so uh, I didn't, I didn't actually expect to like the bag as much as I liked it. Like I liked it a lot. Um, like a lot. I liked it a lot. And the colour was beautiful. It's like an off-white kind of colour. Color. They call it latte, I think, or le. Le is milk in French, I believe. So maybe it's not le, but I think it's latte. It's like an off-white creamy kind of creamy colour. It's a really, really pretty bag. I've always wanted a Lady Dior in my handbag collection. I actually think I want the bag. I actually think I want the bag. Um, I'm in a rush to get it. Uh, I'm gonna save it for it and see how I feel in summertime, summertime of this year. And I told the woman, the woman who was helping me, she was so lovely. And she was like, if there's a price increase, I will subtly let you know so that you can get the bag before the price increase. I said, yes. So there's no rush, but it's definitely been bumped up my list of bags I want. But then I have other bags which I do also like. Uh, and then after Dior, I went up to Celine. No, I went to Chanel, saw these little dad sandals, super cute. And then I also saw, um, they had a white cocoa handle at Chanel. Um, like a, I'll insert an example of that bag because they don't have one, because I couldn't take a picture in there because girl, the Chanel store, they are onto you. They, they are watching you. They're watching you like a hawk. So I couldn't take any pictures in there, but they had a little white cocoa handle bag and I was just, I wanted to have a look to see whether they had any like um, non-classic bags, um, which were white because girl, the classic bags are just, just too much. It's too much. I already have one. I don't need loads. <laughs> Um, but I was looking at more of their seasonal bags, the bags which they come out, which they bring out here and there. They didn't have any. They had one cocoa handle, but it's too big. Um, but a cocoa handle is a bag which I'm considering. Like it would be either Lady Dior or white Co white Lady Dior or white cocoa handle. Again, no rush to buy these bags. Um, I may get one of them. May get one of them by the end of the year. Maybe. Maybe not. Not that bothered really. <laughs> then I saw these dad sandals and I thought they were quite cute, but I'm kind of done with the dad sandal trend. It, I wasn't all in, so I'm not that bothered anyway. And then I'm actually on the hunt for a, I didn't add this in my luxury wishes video because it's just been on my mind recently, but I actually really want a basket bag, but with black leather, with a black leather trim. So I saw this Chloe one, which I thought was really, really cute. Like, I really like this. I think it was around £500, which is about £200 more than my Louis cost a few years ago. 
um, but the Chloe one was really really cute uh, I like this one I also like one from a brand called Demelier but that one has a lot of black so I'm not sure how I feel about that I'm kind of gearing towards this this Chloe one here then I popped into Celine Ooh, Celine <laughs> um, they had these chunky slider sandals shoes okay um and i saw them on the website i think i might have seen them on instagram first and i loved them like i really really loved them then i saw them in then i saw them in store and these i feel like they're a bit of a love it or hate it item they have like a gladiator look to them but i love these shoes i love them so much they are about i think they were 6.90 so just under 700 pounds they have a lot of money i have a thing for tan sandal shoes but i need to stop myself because i bought some uh, shoes from hugo boss last year which are like chunky black sandals so i don't really need any more chunky black sandals and if i want a more like and if i want a more elegant slider leather sandal i like my orange sandal so i really don't have any space in my wardrobe for these um they don't fit a, a purpose they don't fill a gap in my wardrobe apart from the fact that i just really like them and i'm loving this celine triumph logo which is everywhere but the fact that it's everywhere kind of makes me feel a bit like oh i'm not sure they were beautiful um then i also tried on this uh, basket bag from so i've got my phone in my hand and then i tried and then I tried on this Celine basket bag, um, which was a, which was in a dark navy colour, which almost looked black. And I was wearing like a black knitted jumpsuit underneath, and um, it, it looked very close to black. But I have made that mistake before, where I bought a dark navy item in the hopes that it would kind of feel it would kind of fill the void and kind of work as a black bag and it never works out so when i'm talking about that i mean like my i bought a chanel a vintage chanel classic flap which i love that bag it was so beautiful and i got it for such a good price had a nightmare selling it because i had this cr <laughs> that isn't that's a story for another day but um that bag i loved there was absolutely nothing wrong with it apart from the fact that it wasn't black and i like <laughs> At first I was okay with that and then after a while I was like this bag is far too much money even though I got it vintage even though I got it even though I got it at an absolute steal because this was just at the beginning of the pandemic um when you know Chanel hadn't done a million price increases um I always regretted buying that bag because of the colour because the colour just wasn't right it wasn't a black bag and I wanted a black bag so although I love this Celine Triumph basket bag it's just not black and I can't look past it <laughs> I can't look past it and I'm really not a navy girl like navy you'll probably notice in my wardrobe that I don't have many navy things it's just not my colour personally I mean obviously it looks good on everybody but I just think black is the rich dark tone that I need in my wardrobe if you have a lighter complexion like Jack my partner he's quite fair and like he I mean black he looks great in black but navy is his color like navy is his color i just feel like navy looks better on people with lighter complexions whereas a true deep dark black that's a bit of me that's a bit of me okay um so although i love this bag not too sure on it i don't know um, it was, I think it was around the same price as a Chloe bag and I actually like the Celine one a little bit more. I like the logo a little bit more. Um, oh, and then <laughs> um, I went into the Hermes store because I was like, I'm really not sure whether to go and see Hermes store or not. Um, as I'm here, you know, let's do it. So thankfully the woman, who, the sales associate who, or, who always helps me get items, <laughs> even though even though every time I go in there, I'm like, oh, have you got this in stock? No, we don't have that. Have you got this in stock? No, I don't have that. Um, but she's so lovely. She's honestly, like, probably one of the loveliest, like, uh, sales assistants I've ever uh, dealt with, work with. Um, I don't like to call anybody my essay because she's not mine, and it makes me feel a bit cringe saying that. But anyway, um, the woman who helps me at Hermes, she's so lovely, so kind, and... Um, I actually asked her if my wish list had expired because I thought it would had expired around mi uh, March time, but I couldn't quite remember. Um, I asked her and she was like, yes, it has expired a few days ago. So I was like, okay, is there any chance that I could um, renew my wish list? 
And she was like, yes, of course you can. So um, I read my wishes at Emma's and um, what did I go for? Neutrals, all neutrals, not black, because I don't need another black bag. Um, so I went for the my dream bag I've talked about this before would be a Togo, would be a my dream bag would be a gold with gold hardware, like the tan colour with the gold hardware. So I put that on my wish, I put any kind of beiges, warm tones, I put creams in there, even though I really don't want a cream bag. I feel like I would prefer the Dior. Uh, what else I put in there? I put in a taupe, um, all with gold hardware, but this time I actually said that I'm open. I actually said that I was open to the size 25. I've been doing some research here and there, and... The size 25, I feel like might work better for my lifestyle because I was thinking, one of my most favourite bags in my whole collection is my Givenchy Mini Antigona. And that one is, um, you can wear that bag crossbody, but it's mainly a top handle bag. And I love that bag. It doesn't bother me that it doesn't go all the way down to like the crook of my arm. I don't believe it does. Um, I usually wear it, it's just like a little pretty top handle bag. It's a full leather bag, it's beautiful. And I love it so much because it's small and it fits my essential but it's not too heavy so i so this time when i put my wish together i said that i would prefer a 25 but i'm very open to a 30 which is what i've always wanted so that's what i did in manchester um i didn't take any pictures in hermes i asked them if they had any of the uh, orange sandals in white she didn't have any i asked them if they had any of the sheep sandals in black neutrals um they didn't have any of that if they'd have had either of them, especially 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 the sheep fur sandals, um, I would have bought them. But because they are they are impossible to get, they are impossible to get. Um, and although they're not on my wish list, it's just something that I feel like they're so hard to get. Like, what's even the point of putting them on my wish list because they're just never available. Anyway, I um. So yeah, I, I would have bought one of one either the white orange or the because I already have the black sandals from H&M. Um, I would have either bought black white orange or the cheaper sandals, but they had neither, so I didn't buy anything. Um, I feel like they just never have any, anything in stock in my local uh, Hermes store. Like they just don't have anything. <laughs> I had another look around the shops. I went to a cafe, um, and I did a little bit more work. Um, sent off all the things that I need to send off, hit all my deadlines for the day. Then I got my train back home, which is about a two hour journey back home. Um, so yeah, that was my little day out. I like to have these little days out in between just being at home doing my regular routine stuff, just because it just, it's, especially when it's a sunny day. It was a lovely day yesterday. There was sun. Today is miserable and raining. So I'm, glad, I'm so glad that I had that day yesterday. It just means that I can get out and I can see people. And I can do something fun alongside doing what I need to do for um, work. I'm going to show you guys my wardrobe now. So yeah, let's do that. So I don't normally film on this camera. I usually use my Canon G7X to film any like shaky footage. But I'm going to attempt to do it on this camera here. So yeah, this is my finished wardrobe. Over on this side, I have all of my blazers. So all of my colourful blazers. It looks so beautiful like I love this whole arrangement I think it looks so good so pretty for someone who half of the year their wardrobe is neutral uh, it's nice to inject a little bit of colour um, halfway through the year see so, yeah, I have blazers and tweed jackets on this side so I've got this jacket from H&M from Amazon which is like a tweed jacket and then some more tweedy jackets back here and then on this side I have lighter jackets and lighter blazers, lighter tweed jackets and then I have um, trench coats. I have loads and loads of trench coats but oh, I am a sucker for a trench coat. Like, I know a lot of them look similar but then kind of not. I have different tones that even though these are all beige, like, look at the difference. This is like a a yellowy greeny beige with this like a true beige this one's patterned this one is pleather this one is linen um, and then at the top I have all of my handbags now actually it was really hard to fit all my handbags up there I have a lot of I have a lot of bags I have a lot of bags but I'm a handbag girl and to be honest even though I do love the way that my wardrobe is um I just feel like there's so much dead 
I feel like there's just so much dead space at the top. Um, I've discussed this with Jack and I've just thought about this myself. I might contact the company who created these wardrobes because we got them built in when we bought the house. But I might, so I don't know if at the time I could have asked them to change the design, but I might still contact the company who did the wardrobe and ask them whether I can like change the layout. Um, yeah, I might do that just because there's, you know, there's dead space here, there's dead space at the top. I just feel like I could rearrange this wardrobe and fit a lot more in there. Um, I've just used the space a little bit better, so I don't know, something I could do in the future. So yeah, this is my main wardrobe. And then this is like my knit wardrobe, which has all of my coats and jackets and knitwear that I feel like I'm still going to wear during this time of the year. So um, starting over here, I have this... Starting over here, I have this teddy jacket, which I wear around the house mainly. I love this jacket. It's so nice and warm. And then I have my two puffer coats, my North Face and my Axel Arigato, which, um, very, which is very much needed right now because it's so miserable. And both these coats are so warm. Like, I'm so glad that I got that Axel Arigato one because the weather is... Oh, it's miserable anyway coming through here we have some colorful knits over there and some lighter knits i kept out way way more knitwear than i'm happy with to be honest um i really should have i should have packed away more i thought about it but it's just like I don't know, I'm very much like an undertone person like for me like I know these two that like this is a this is a cream jacket, <laughs> sorry, this is a cream jumper and this is also a cream jumper but I feel like the colours are different and also this one's like a turtleneck and this one's a crew neck. Um, so although a lot of these knits look similar, I don't know, sometimes you just want like a turtleneck cream jumper and a crew neck one just won't work. C content creation is what I do so I need to have options so yeah. Um, I have some longer knits down here, longer knits there, some knit dresses, some darker knits and then just some coats. Again, I've kept out a, maybe a few more coats than I should have. I've got two cream here, a camel grey, um, a herringbone and a black coat and then a long puffer coat as well because that is really good for my walks. And then at the top I just have my Katie Loxton weekend bags because they are great for holidays. I have a few more bags stuffed in there as well but I'm not too sure what's in there. And then over here I have some bags which I mainly use in winter. I mean the, the reason why I've kept them out and so accessible is because I might still use them like now so for instance like my Moby bag which is just there um, that is such a great everyday bag for when I'm like down in London or um, I just need to carry it a little bit more and um, so that's a great one for that but and I would well, and I will use that bag in summer because I really don't care. Who says you can't wear burgundy in summer if it works and it works? And then I have other bags which I just feel like are a little bit on the wintry side. Like even that Pullen bag there, I will use that in summer. But um, I just didn't have much space in the other wardrobe. And then I have my Givenchy, my um, Pochette Matisse, all those bags there. I want I want to still have access to them, but they're not like my really colourful summer bags. So yeah. And then I've got loads of stuff still in here as well, under the bed. I organised it all nicely. I'm not going to show you just because it's not that interesting. But yeah, this is the spare bedroom. It's looking really, really tidy. Okay, I hope that wasn't too shaky. I really, really hope. If it was, I'm just going to have to refilm it all. But um, yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog. I feel like I'm doing a lot of vlogs nowadays just because... I'm kind of, you probably notice I'm not very consistent with YouTube right now. Um, I just don't see the point in putting out content just for the sake of putting out content. And some of the content that I would have made like a full YouTube video out of, I can do like a, a short or reel or a TikTok on. So if you're following me on other platforms, then I'm kind of condensing that content to show in that format instead of like a long video. I mainly watch um vlogs like i'll be honest if anybody uploads a vlog like as long as i'm interested obviously but if you upload a vlog i'm so interested because i want to know what's going on in your life i just want to know like what you're doing instead of like 
always showing what you're buying and all that kind of thing. And I know I do show what I'm buying in my vlogs, but it just feels like an it just feels like it's way more organic and I just personally enjoy vlogs a lot more. I think they're more personal. You actually get to know the person instead of just a topic um, that they talk about again and again. So I hope you don't mind the vlogs. They don't get the best views. I mean, they don't get good views really. And it can be a bit demotivating, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching the vlogs. Um, there's definitely going to be more of them, more home vlogs. So actually today I was thinking about um, going to be in cute and getting some paint because I think the master bedroom, it needs to be done okay. We've been here two years, two and a bit years, nearly two and a half years, yes, nearly. Um, and I think it's about time we did our master bedroom. I think we, de we deserve, a, like, we have a lovely master bedroom. Like, don't get me wrong. We have a lovely master bedroom, but we deserve a finished master bedroom. And I think I'm going to do that today because Jack is working some crazy long hours right now. So I'm at home on my own for long stretches of time. And, and work really, you know, I said earlier that I've uh, sent off some stuff, you know, I've hit some deadlines. And I'm going to be pretty quiet for the remainder of this week. Next week is hella busy. But this week, for the remainder of this week, it's not that busy. So I might um, work on that, keep myself busy, do that. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. If you do have any video suggestions or stuff that you want me to include in vlogs or just in general, let me know and uh, I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.